Today, LMG Marketplace welcomes you from Warsaw, where we speak with Mr. Paweł Jakubowski, Director of Development Division of Gas System, who is in charge of preparation and implementation of a long-term investment program for the gas infrastructure in Poland. Gas System uh, it is a Polish company, state-owned company. Uh, we are the only one transmission system operator and we are responsible for the safe and uh, and long-term transmission services for Polish customers, for the industry and uh, for the households. Uh, we are a key integrator and facilitator of, uh, of market development in Poland. We are the owner and the operator of the transmission system, transmission pipelines, high-pressure pipelines in Poland, and we are the owner of our subsidiary Polish Polskie LNG, LNG uh, which is the company uh, responsible for the uh, operatorship of our LNG terminal in Świnoujście. Okay, so uh, Polskie LNG is a daughter company of gas system. Exactly. Uh, we are uh, the, the, the only the, the one uh, shareholder of, of, of Polskie LNG. Polskie LNG um, uh, initially it was the it was a, a special vehicle uh, uh, for for establishing the the, the, the LNG terminal in Świnoujście, but at this moment since uh, it was uh, uh, commissioned in mid 2016, um, Polskie LNG is the operator of uh, the only one onshore LNG terminal in the Baltic Sea. Can you explain us the concept of the Northern Gateway? What are the assumptions of this project? Northern Gateway, uh, it is a concept, an idea uh, of uh, to diversify uh, sources of supply uh, to Polish market and to the regional market in central eastern part of Europe. Uh, the main assumption is to have more competition uh, meaning the more independent sources of supply. That's why the Northern Gateway concept consists of two projects. Uh, first of them is uh, mentioned before LNG terminal in Świnoujście and uh, its expansion. And the second one is the so-called Baltic Pipe project, which means uh, the physical corridor to the Norwegian continental shelf as uh, Norway is one of the most important uh, fossil fuel uh, supplier to, to Europe. Okay, um, so we are mostly interested for our listeners in uh, the terminal, uh, regasification terminal in Świnoujście. Could you please explain us what is the current situation of regasification terminal? Well, um, since uh, January 2016, uh, LNG terminal is in operation. Uh, we are offering 5 BCM uh, capacity for domestic cons uh, consumers. It means that we can cover one third of, of our domestic needs. Uh, so as, so it, uh, LNG terminal is one of the most important element of, of Polish uh, gas infrastructure right now. Uh, we are offering also um, possibility to reload uh, some small uh, amounts of LNG on trucks um, as an additional service uh, uh, and uh, what I can say right now we are observing uh, that this additional service uh, is very very um, well uh, I would say very well um, uh, regarded uh, from from the market market side, and uh, right now we are we are um, working on the development plan for the LNG terminal. And as a Northern Gateway concept mentioned before uh, means uh, diversification for uh, for our domestic purposes. Uh, the, the schedule mean uh, the schedule uh, assumes that it will be accomplished in 2022 and LNG terminal with its development means that we would like to 
um, increase um, regasification capacity from 5 BCM to 7.5 BCM, which means that uh, technically uh, we will be able to cover 50% of our national needs for natural gas from the LNG source. Um, additionally, we are working on the second jetty. Uh, the second jetty uh, is, uh, um, I would say, a way to increase flexibility in terms of vessels that we can uh, that we can have in Świnoujście. Uh, it is also for transshipping purposes and as well as for bunkering uh, purposes. We would like to also offer in the future reloading service on railway, which means that we will use existing infrastructure um, in the neighborhood uh, of the LNG terminal to offer possibility to reload LNG cargoes to train. Uh, and uh, we can imagine that uh, uh, this kind of service can be named, that's just an example, as a virtual pipeline. Uh, where, we, where we can deliver LNG supplies to those places where there is no um, distribution or, or transmission infrastructure. Okay, so basically at the moment you have uh, two services offered, right? That it's import uh, terminal and you also reloading for uh, trucks. But can you explain us a little bit about the railway? Because you mentioned before that there is some plans for uh, transportation of LNG uh, by the railway? Well, yes, the, uh, we have uh, in, uh, in uh, close to the LNG facility, we have, uh, we have uh, existing uh, railway infrastructure, which can be easily used uh, with, uh, with, um, with some improvements for this purpose. Uh, we would like to have, uh, I would say, um, a reloading service uh, with, um, uh, as I, I, I didn't mention it before, but we are thinking of ISO containers as an element for, for the service, which means that we would like, we will be able to reload LNG to ISO containers and ISO containers could be uh, loaded on a train or on truck or on smaller vessel. But nevertheless, it means also that the railway infrastructure could be used to reload LNG directly to, to the train, um, which means that uh, it could be um, additional service to the, to the main uh, service li like uh, regasification, um, uh, which is uh, available, available right now. Um, this service is interesting uh, for some market players where uh, where where they are providing their uh, they running their business in a, in a, in a place where there is no uh, sufficient infrastructure, or for um, uh, for security reasons, uh, we can easily imagine um, factories uh, which uh, which have to have additional uh, energy source uh, for. Um, possible disruptions from from the grid. It could be also uh, applied for for these reasons. So basically, um, reloading for uh, for railway. Uh, this is something which is not uh, not present at this moment on on the Polish market. But reloading services for other um, commodities like crude oil or other or, the, uh, or other um, crude oil products. It is available, so why not use it in existing LNG facility in Świnoujście? Great. Could you uh, develop a little bit uh, on the subject of small-scale uh, LNG shipping and also LNG bunkering? Do you think that uh, this project will be relevant for this uh, market? I would say it is a future for, for the LNG uh, industry, um, as it is... It is um, it is commonly known that um, clean fuel. Uh, this is something which is uh, which is necessary uh, in terms of our um, our uh, legal framework, which 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 uh, uh, 
gives us uh, incentives to develop clean energy um, um, solutions for transportation or for maritime uh, uh, transportation. And well, we are observing what is happening on the Baltic Sea region. And we see that there's a number of LNG, um, LNG projects uh, which should be uh, feeded with a um, large LNG source. Um, so right now, um, we, we would like to present LNG terminal in, Shio, in Shinoushche as a, one of the most important large LNG source for small-scale LNG projects uh, in our neighboring, neighboring countries uh, on the Baltic Sea coast. Are you thinking also about uh, inland shipping or it's only uh, seagoing vessels? Well, um, it could be used uh, um, both. Mm -hmm. uh, as, uh, f from our perspective, um, it really doesn't matter when, uh, where the vessel will go. The destination, uh, destination is, uh, is, is not our, uh, we are not afraid of, of any other uh, mm -hmm. destinations uh, as, we are, as we can offer service for those who are inter interested in LNG reloading service in um, our facility, and uh, we can we can easily uh, we can easily imagine uh, a situation where LNG vessel, small scale LNG vessel or 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 or, or LNG barge, would be feeded in LNG terminal, and they and then uh, it can go either to some locations uh, near the Odra River, for example, or in other destinations located uh, around the Baltic coast, in Finland, in Sweden, or somewhere else. Um, in your opinion, what are the main obstacles to this uh, development of the project? Um, well, we don't see any, other ob any obstacles. We see only challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say, um, well, everything is, uh, is in our hand. Uh, we would like to deliver these um, this additional services as soon as possible. Um, and uh, overall environment for LNG projects is uh, supporting uh, this direction. Uh, um, we can see that the, there is a sulfur directive uh, or any other regulations so that the legal framework is in favor of uh, clean fuel like LNG. So if we can deliver LNG to different, to, to, to various um, uh, clients using railway, uh, small, small vessels, um, uh, it, it means that then uh, the, the, the LNG can go to those places where there is no any other way to deliver LNG as a, as a competing fuel. Mm. And uh, with the uh, and we can utilize um, in infrastructure different to traditional gas pipelines. So you have kind of ambition to become LNG hub for our uh, region. Is it so? Well, um, I would say this is uh, this is something which comes to our mind. Uh, First of all, Northern Gateway concept means that we would like to diversify sources of supply. Um, our assumption is to deliver in 2022 17.5 BCM for uh, domestic market, 10 BCM from the Baltic Pipe project, 7.5 from the uh, LNG source. In parallel, as a gas system, we are cooperating very closely with our neighboring transmission system operators from Lithuania, from Ukraine, Slovakia, and Czech Republic. We have uh, our goal is to establish interconnectors connecting our national grids together, and then uh, available uh, natural gas on the Polish gas market could be easily transferred uh, to our to our friends um, in. Ukraine, in Slovakia, and other countries. So it means that, well, yes, it means that uh, 
Polish gas market could be covered with the LNG, which is far more than our annual needs. Right now, uh, Polish gas market is around 15, 16 BCM. So um, if, 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 uh, if we can fulfill uh, those uh, needs um, right now and we can add um, additional capacity from Baltic pipe and from um, uh, expanded LNG terminal in Świnoujście, it means that it, it will have more uh, import capacity from independent sources of supply than that we need. So we can share um, uh, LNG terminal or Baltic pipe for other customers. Um, we know that there is a, a lot of interest uh, in, uh, for example, Ukraine, uh, which also suffers from, uh, I would say, monopolistic uh, position of, uh, of or dominant position of, of one of the suppliers. Um, and I would say, well, this is a, a, a general challenge for the whole region to be more di diversified, to have more flexibility on the market and more competition on the market. And uh, to achieve this goal, um, we need more infrastructure, more interconnectors between our countries, especially in terms of security of supply. Uh, as a Poland, we suffered uh, many times for, from disruptions and uh, having the Northern Gateway concept, we, we are increasing security of, of supply for Poland, but also for, for the region of Central and Eastern part of Europe. Okay, and uh, you mentioned the year 2022. Uh, what was the reason to give such a specific uh, date? Well, 2022 is a year uh, of expiring long-term contract with our um, with our dominant uh, gas uh, supplier from from the east, um, and our goal uh, as a company responsible for the infrastructure is to prepare the market to have a choice. So we are presenting projects that we would like to um, that we would like to deliver to create a comfortable position for market players to choose the best, the most promising uh, source of supply or promising producer. Uh, so the middleman, for example, right? Uh, we, can, we can easily imagine um, a number of uh, uh, natural gas producers from uh, Norwegian continental shelf uh, or from or uh, LNG producers, even from exotic uh, uh, destinations like Qatar. But uh, in Polish reality, Qatar is not an, an, an exotic uh, destination. Uh, Qatar is one of the is the biggest LNG producer producer in the world. So uh, having LNG facility for 7.5 BCM, we can cover 50% of Polish domestic needs uh, from any um, producer in the world, even from, from, so, uh, from, um, from, from uh, countries from uh, Qatar or, or somewhere else. Uh, it means that um, the region could be uh, if if we if we fulfill um, if we accomplish the Northern Gateway project, we can deliver to the market solutions where market players can choose or can switch between competing sources of supply. For um, for customers, it means. Uh, increased security of supply, it means more uh, incentives for decreasing the price in overall. Are there any additional solutions to increase the efficiency of the terminal? Well, um, yes. Um, we have uh, 
we have plans to establish combined heat and power um, installation, so-called cogeneration. Uh, co this solution could provide uh, electricity power for the purpose of the terminal, and uh, we will have the possibility to use the um, waste, um, heat waste, uh, from uh, from um, CCGT plant for the purposes of regasification process in the LNG terminal. This uh, combination uh, would provide us with a more efficient and cleaner uh, solution for maintenance and uh, uh, for the maintenance of the of the LNG terminal. Just to give you an example, uh, right now we have so-called submerged combustion vaporizers, uh, which we use for regasification process. Uh, initially, we had plans for uh, ORV system, which is open rack vaporizers, uh, which uses uh, seawater. But the uh, cogeneration, the CHP plant, uh, it is a um, completely different solution because um, for, 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 uh, from one side, we are increasing uh, security of the terminal having our own power plant and uh, electricity production but on the other hand we have also a predictable source of heat which can be used as a uh, as a component for regasification uh, uh, process um, and uh, I would say we can we, we could even um, imagine situation where the heat is used by local communities. Uh, for example, we have uh, Miasto, uh, we have city Świnoujście, sorry, uh, city of Świnoujście, uh, or other or other um, nearby cities, uh, and we can share, for example, um, waste heat from the CHP plant. But uh, it is not uh, additional service, uh, as, as as you mentioned. Yes, it is. Uh, an increase of, of efficiency of the terminal. Uh, we are investigating at this moment uh, the business model and technical solutions uh, which can provide us with this uh, CHP plant in the future. Thank you very much. It was very interesting. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you.